to my youtube channel today i think it's day two of lockdown isn't it god's sake i mean i'm struggling already i always really busy working all day and now i find that i just don't know what to do with myself yesterday didn't get out my pajamas all day i know shocking but today luckily i got a delivery from magpie beauty um, I ordered a few Christmassy nail art bits, hoping that they'll let us open back up in December. Um, so hopefully some of you guys might find this helpful for your Christmas shopping list, nail art shopping list. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to swatch a few things and show you what I got. So something really weird going on. I can see something like popping outside my box. It looks like glitter. So I hope nothing's open, but we're going to find out. Let me just get into this. Clients, if you see me without a finger next time, it's probably because I don't know how to use a pair of scissors. <laughs> what is all this stuff coming out my box? Oh, <laughs> oh, this is packed really nicely. So, it comes like this. I'm going to open it up. So these are from the Snow Angels collection. I believe they were £34 and they are really thin and really holographic. So I'm just going to test these out for you so we can have a look at what they look like. Okay, so I've just painted a thin layer of white polish and I've put on a layer of um, gel polish. I've not cured it yet so that my glitter sticks on properly. Now don't come for me, I can't find the triangle in what this is meant to fall in so I'm just going to have to waste a little bit. It is brand new so I won't do it after my second time but I can't be asked to keep looking for it. Oh wow, look at that. I'll show you what they look like at the end when um, I finished all of them with the top coat. This is Alba. Oh my gosh, I think this is going to be my favourite one. Oh my god, that's so fine and white. It's so hard to find a really nice fine glitter. Wow, 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 wow. Can't wait to see what this will look like with a top coat. This is blank. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, please someone correct me. I think you say it blank. Oh wait, this might be my favourite one. Oh, I don't know, it's so hard. Oh, this one's nice as well. Oh, I think this might be my favourite. Oh, yes, look how fine that is. This one is Iceland. Um, this is like a very nice icy purple. It's got a lot of blue reflected in the glitter, which is really nice. And I'm just surprised of how fine they are. Like, I've ordered from Magpie Beauty in the past. And they've not really been that fine. Like even though they've got really nice chunky glitters, I didn't buy their fine glitter because I found they weren't fine enough. But these, let me tell you, are fine as hell. Love it. And last but not least, we have Neva. I think that's how you say it. And this is like a nice icy pink, which has loads of different colors reflected in. They're all quite holographic actually, which is nice. Lush. Right, now let's have a look at what they look like with the top one. I definitely think Alba, this one here, is my favourite one just because it reflects pink and blue and that's just my cup of tea. You can buy these individually or you can buy these as a collection, so it's up to you. I just bought all of them just so I could swatch them all for you and I'm sure my clients will be happy that I've got more glitters in got is Don't Be Tacky which is just a non-tacky top coat and Garnet which is a mirror powder. You need these together. I mean you can use this with any other non-tacky top coat but this effect won't work with a normal top coat. It has to be non-tacky and I will show you exactly what I mean. Now. Okay so I just painted a black base and I'm going to apply a very thin layer of the Don't Be Tacky top coat. And it has to be a black base. I mean, you can use other colours, but black bases work better because it makes the mirrored effect stand out even more. 
and we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, so then you're going to need a sponge, like a, I think it's a silicone sponge applicator. You can literally get this off eBay or I mean Amazon, they're so cheap, they sell them literally. And then we're not going to wipe off the residue because there won't be any, we just want to dip our brush into the powder and just firmly press onto the top coat. See, and then you need to work that pigment in all around. I've actually done a tutorial on how to do this properly and make it last a long time. I'll link down below um, where you can see that video. Pretty, it's got a bit of lumpy bumps in there because I rushed it a little bit, but that's super cute. And this is what it looks like with a top coat on. I mean, it's quite hard to see, but you can actually see your reflection in there. Super nice. Uh, I hope someone picks this out for Christmas, otherwise I'll be gutted because it's really lovely. So I'm going to leave this blank because it's a paper. It should just cover the whole nail anyway. So I shouldn't have to paint a color underneath. I mean, I probably would on a client, but I just want to see how full coverage this, this actually is. So I'm going to put a very thin layer and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds like it says to do in on the instructions on the back. Okay, so that has now cured for 60 seconds and I've cut a very small piece of the foil and I'm going to try my best to do this. I'm just going to stick it down and then you have to kind of like rub on top. Um, I'm going to use this to see if this helps. I mean, you can use this, I've seen other girls use this as well, just to make sure it's properly stuck on. This is my first time doing this as well, so let's hope it turns out all right. Okay, right, let's try and pull this off. Oh, wow. Okay, I've gone and done it wrong there. It is my first time trying. But as you can see, you can actually get that full coverage on there. Just with a little bit of practice, I might practice this a few more times before I do it on someone. But that looks pretty amazing if you ask me. Hey guys, sorry, before we continue, um, I just wanted to say the thing I love about Vampire Beauty is that every single one of their products, whether it's like a glitter, a pigment, like anything you can imagine for, like the foils, colors whatever it's called after a girl's name so most likely even though you have a really strange name you might be able to find a product that has your name under it and guess what i found georgie porgy i mean this isn't a christmas color but i just had to buy it it's like it's the name of my um channel georgie porgy so i'm gonna swatch this as well and then i'll show you what other bits and bobs i got um, so definitely try like have a look on their website to see if you've got a product called after your name. Um, I think they're really cute like Christmas presents as well because you can like give someone, I don't know, a polish or whatever, like a pigment chrome powder that's called after your name. So yeah, definitely go and have a look because I'm obsessed, like I'm gonna switch now. Like, this is Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kiss the boys and make them cry. And um, I'm going to swatch, oh! It's like a whiny purple. Very nice. I'm impressed and it's really good coverage as well. Look at that, that's one coat. So as the last bits of my order, I got these Christmas stars. I mean, they're not probably Christmas stars because I'll probably use them for Valentine's Day as well because they reflect like pink in there too. Um, and then I got these. These are little snowflakes. You can get these in gold and silver. I got the silver because I think it's a little bit more um, snowy. It gives more of a snowy vibe. And they're so nice. I can't wait to encapsulate these in like a really nice long set of nails. Can't wait. Okay, so then this is like a pigment applicator brush for makeup. Um, My Pie Beauty does sell as a brush similar to this for what I'm about to do. Um, but I just had this lying around at home, so um, I decided to use this. I've applied a red layer, cured it, and then applied a clear base of gel. And then I'm going to go in, push these down on the layer of gel that I haven't cured in the lamp. Obviously, make sure you don't cure it, otherwise <laughs> they won't stick. Sorry, that was out of focus. Once we've done that, I'm just going to push the stars in on the edges, and I would do this on my clients as well. 
and then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds. And for the snowflakes, I've just applied a very thin layer of clear gel and I'm going to pick them up and just place them on top of our nail. Obviously, um, these would be encapsulated underneath either gel builder or acrylic clear powder. Lovely. So this is what they look like under a gel builder for the snowflakes and a top coat for the stars. Pretty damn awesome if you ask me. So this guys was my order from my Play Beauty. It wasn't a very big one, but I just needed a few essentials for my nail art. I mean, I really hope they'll let this open back up in December. I hate not working. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. But anyway, definitely check their website out. They've got a really big selection of glitter. Like, it amazes me. It's out of control, their selection. Like, I sit on their website for hours after hours trying to minimise the glitter that I've put in my shopping cart because I just can't choose what I want most of the time. There's just too much to choose from. But I'll be listing everything down below in the description box so you know where to get it. And I really hope you guys find found any of this helpful. Um, and I really enjoyed swatching these little glitters for you. So leave me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.